can't be no light If darkness don't exist He never left my sight He showed me the way Out of all the storms Raging at the sea He gave me back my life I owe him everything Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice In the name of the Lord Forever and always I rejoice, rejoice, rejoice Well, hello. Welcome back, friends. My name is Anna, if you are new here, and today's video is going to be all about my five morning habits. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about some different things that I do in the morning to kind of set my day up for success and how I start my day. And so I really narrowed it down to about five habits that I have that I do every morning that set my day up for success and help me to have a productive day, a more peaceful day, and a healthier day. So the first one is getting up early. And I struggle with this because I am not not a morning person by nature, but I've had to train myself over the years to become better at this. Because let's face it, if you have kids, you have to be. <laughs> it's just inevitable, at least when they're little anyways. And all of my kids have been early risers from the beginning, so I have had to become that. And it's actually been a really good thing. And there's actually a lot of scripture that talks about waking up early and getting in the word early. And we'll talk a little bit about that a little later on, but getting up early has been huge huge for me. I try to get up between 6 and 6.30, usually Monday through Thursday. Friday and Saturday and Sunday, sometimes I get up early, sometimes I sleep in a little bit. So I'm not doing this like every single day of the week, but definitely during school mornings, definitely during the weekdays, I'm doing this pretty much every single day. Unless I've had like a really rough night where I couldn't sleep or one of the kids couldn't sleep, then obviously things change. But for the most part, that is my goal is between 6 and 6.30 every single morning during the weekdays. And it's actually been proven that if you have a consistent wake time every single day, you actually will sleep better at night. And I have definitely found that to be true. I find that if I just kind of stay up till whenever I want to stay up to sleep in till however late I want to sleep into, it, it just really throws off my schedule, like my body's sleep schedule. And I have a really hard time with sleep if I get off of my schedule. And I think kids are also the same. It's also a beautiful time for me to get along with the Lord before the kids kids come up and start needing all these different things from me. And it kind of gives me a minute to really clear my head, pray, think on the things of the Lord, meditate on scripture, and just prepare my mind and my heart for the day ahead before the kids are like surrounding me needing this and that. And I'm just already being pulled into a million different directions. If I can get up, have some time alone, just me and the Lord, it helps me so much. If I have to get up and immediately like go to work getting everybody juice and diapers and all the things, it really affects the rest of my day in usually a negative way. It's just like I instantly feel overwhelmed, overworked, exhausted. It's just a whole spiral effect. The second thing that I have been doing consistently for probably six weeks or longer is drinking apple cider vinegar as soon as I wake up. It's very hard to do because the first thing I want to do is the coffee pot, <laughs> but normally I drink a little bit of water and then I dilute probably about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass with some water and I just chug it really, really fast and then I drink my coffee after that. But this has really helped my digestion. It's helped my metabolism. It's helped me with weight loss. I've lost like about six pounds since I've been doing this and I've been watching what I eat to and trying to um, do my one mile a day. But um, I really think this has had a huge impact on my health in general. So many other just good 
health benefits with drinking apple cider vinegar every single day. So I highly recommend that. It doesn't necessarily have to be right when you wake up, but um, I just find like just starting my day with that one healthy habit, like the minute I wake up, sets my day up to make healthier choices throughout the day. I am more likely to eat better, do my workout, all of those things have having started out my day with a good healthy habit. So that's one reason I do that. Number three is getting my devotions in first thing in the morning. So as soon as I get my coffee, I am headed to the living room to start my devotions. And I do probably like 30 to 45 minutes of this. And right now, my husband and I are going through the Bible uh, in a year and we're reading it chronologically which has been really interesting and really fun to do that together. We don't always sit there and read it together but we're both reading the same thing and kind of talking about it and asking each other questions about it so that's been really good. But I love the verse Psalms 143.8. It says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. Notice it says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go for to you I entrust my life. So starting your day in the Word is just the best way to start your day. And it really helps me know my focus for the day, um, know who I'm really working for through the day, what my uh, goals are. You know, ultimately it is all about loving God and loving others well. And so grounding myself in the Word of God first thing in the morning just kind of helps me, re reminds me of all of that and just helps me throughout my whole day. I also do a little gratitude journal. It's like three lines. I just write three simple things. Sometimes it's like sleep, coffee, my kids, <laughs> or whatever. Um, it's Sometimes it's longer. I write out more, more of like a sentence, but sometimes it's just really quick. This is really helping me, guys. Like It is transforming my mind and really helping me be more grateful and more joyful. And so I highly recommend, even if you just like jot it down on a little notebook, you don't have to have this gratitude journal. I'll link it below if you want that specific one. But just write it down. Write what, three things you're thankful for every single day as soon as you wake up in the morning and watch how it transforms your mind. I also do my daily affirmations. I have just a bunch of affirmations that I have written down. Some of them the Lord has put on my heart to write down. Some of them I got like from seeing other people do affirmations and some that I found online. Um, but I just kind of wrote ones down that it, some of them are things that I struggle with. So I have one in there that talks about like um, loving my body and making healthy choices. And um, that one comes from the struggle that I have with that and my kind of insecurities with my body and things like that. And so I want to work on that. And so speaking these truths over my life every single day, as soon as I wake up, really helps me with help, helps me mentally and helps me kind of stay grounded through the day and remember whose I am and remember God's promises over my life. I also use this time as soon as I'm done with my devotions, I use this time to plan out my day. And so I just grab my planner and I start making a list of the things that I need to do that day. Usually at the beginning of the week, I write down like anything we have going on that week. So I don't take this time to do that because that's already done. But I do take the time to just write out any to-do list, just kind of like a brain dump of things that I want to get done for the day and kind of prioritize those things. I try to put the things I have to get done at the top and then the things that I don't necessarily have to get done that day usually go towards the bottom. But that really helps me too because that way I'm not like running around all day like a chicken with my head cut off thinking, okay, what do I need to do now? What do I need to do now? I know there's something I need to be doing, but I can't think of what it is. I've already got everything written down and I kind of know what tasks need to be completed and I just go and check them off as I do them throughout the day. Sometimes if it's a really busy day, I'll even make myself like an hourly list of things of when I need to do things, especially if there's just like, you know, appointments and uh, like grocery orders I need to pick up and things like that, it can get crazy. So then I'll write like the time that I need to do something. That way I'm getting things done and I'm not like wasting time, but I'm getting things done when I need to get them done, working around nap times and things like that. That really helps me a lot. And I have a cool little notepad that I use for this. I'll link that below. Um, but that thing comes in handy on busy days. The fourth thing I do, and this is not always something I do at at the very beginning of the day. But as the weather is warming up, I'm trying to do this more in the morning time. But as it's been cold lately, I've been doing it more in the afternoon. But regardless, 
I try to walk one mile every day. Sometimes I don't do it on Sundays. So my goal is six days a week, but then if I get it done on Sundays, that's great. So this has been amazing. My husband and I both started this at the beginning of the year. We said, okay, we're gonna walk a mile a day because it just seemed very doable. Something we could both do to move our body more, to get outside, to also be together because we don't do it together every single day, but I would say like at least three or four times a week we do it together. And that's been a really sweet time for our marriage. Like we have really gotten to connect and just talk and grow closer together during those sweet little walks and sometimes the kids will go with us and we have a fun little chat with them and it's just been really really good y'all like really good the days that I do it by myself I will just walk and pray sometimes I even bring a little scripture card with me and I'll meditate on scripture um, or I'll just pray and I've been really using that time to pray because it's like a 15 or 20 minute walk and so it gives me a lot of time to really talk to the Lord and it has been incredible it has been the sweetest time with the Lord and if there's something about praying and praying in nature that is just amazing and I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it before. It's awesome. So I have been loving my daily walks. Okay, number five is kind of two in one. So I make my bed every day. Okay, well, most days. <laughs> Let's face it, Sundays I don't normally make my bed because we are like laying around doing nothing most of the day. So it's maybe not every day, but I would say four, I would say five out of the seven days a week this bed is usually made. But also I try to get one house chore in a day. So let's talk about the bed first. It is a proven fact, I've said this multiple times on my channel, but it is a proven fact that people who make their bed every day are more successful. So... <laughs> I, I honestly just make it up because it makes me feel better. Like it makes me feel like this room is in order and it's also like the first chore of the day. And so I feel like if I can get this chore done, then it kind of sets me up in my homemaking for the rest of the day. So it's all about making like small little choices at the start of your day that will set your day up for success. So whether it's with your health, with your homemaking, with your homeschooling, do something simple right when you wake up that's going to set you up to be successful in that area throughout the day. And that is what making the bed is really for me. It kind of helps me like jumpstart my homemaking for the day. And I'm like, okay, I did the bed. Now I'm going to do the laundry. I did the laundry. Now I'm going to start on dinner. I did, you know, so it just kind of spirals from there. The other thing I usually do is another house chore. So as soon as I do my devotions, I have a little time with the kids. I usually set up their breakfast for them. And then I'm in here making the bed. I sometimes will do a workout at that point to or I'll go for my walk and then I'll do like one house chore so that normally is putting a load of laundry in the washing machine because I pretty much do laundry every single day or sometimes it's like getting uh, bread going for the day like if I want to make some sandwich bread or some sourdough bread or maybe it's getting a meal in the crock pot for us for that day or sometimes I'll even do a quick little organizational task like I'll clean out a drawer in the kitchen wipe things down and put them back that takes like five or ten minutes just something quick like that that I try to do in the morning before we start school and all of that just to kind of again get my homemaking hat on and get ready to start the day with that. Okay friends those are my five morning habits and I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that that inspired you and gave you some ideas. Remember everyone is different. Your home is different. You may be in a different season of life than me. I know for sure when I was in the newborn season maybe one of those things that I talked about would get done in the morning and that is it. So you know, you're going to be in different seasons throughout your life. If you've got like a medical issue you're going through or a newborn, or it's just a really busy season of life, you may not be able to get all of your normal morning habits done. And that's okay. Give yourself grace, do what you can do in this season and just start again the next day. That's what I always say. If you have a day, you feel like you messed up and you're like, oh, I just didn't get anything done today. Tomorrow is always a new day to start fresh and try again. And God, God's grace is sufficient every single day. His mercies are new every morning and we can have hope in that. And remember, you don't have to get everything perfect and life is not about perfection. It's just about growing and taking a step forward every single day. So I would love to know below, let me know what one of your morning habits is, something that you have to do every single morning. I would love to know. Let's chat about it in the comments and be sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it before you head out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys back here for another video really soon. Bye guys. I rejoice, rejoice.